Dr. Lester Summerall is rightly known as one of the most influential generals of the faith of the last century. Having established churches in more than 100 nations and preached the gospel for over 65 years, there's a lot to glean from his life and ministry. Known as the man of a thousand stories, the clip that I am about to share with you is my favorite Dr. Lester Summerall story because it uniquely illustrates how God used him in the 20th century and how desperately we need that same anointing in the earth today. But tell us what you think. What is your favorite Dr. Lester Summerall story? Place it down in the comments below. And after this clip is over, I'm going to be sharing with you a little known resource where you can glean more from this great general of the faith, even today in the 21st century. And so now, as told by one of his great spiritual sons, my friend and pastor, Rod Parsley shares my favorite Dr. Lester Summerall story. My pastor, Dr. Lester Sumrall, early on in his ministry some 60 years ago, found himself in the jungles of Central America. While he was there, he came across a witch doctor. The witch doctor was taking human blood, mixing it together with alcohol, pouring it into the mouth of a satanic bullfrog close the mouth of the frog, dance around and whirl and make satanic incantations. Then open the mouth of the frog and drink the mixture back out. My pastor didn't do what most pastors today would do. He didn't walk up to that man and say, by the way, next Tuesday, we can schedule an appointment for you at two o'clock in the afternoon with a staff psychiatrist at the church. He walked up to where that witch doctor was, slapped his hands on the sides of his head, and said, Come out! Everybody shout, Come out! We didn't come tonight to play with the devil. We didn't come tonight to play church. We didn't come tonight to pat a cake. We didn't come tonight to watch some puppet placate the people's passions. We did not come in this house tonight to construct for ourselves some little token God in our own mind and intellect which would become conducive to the lifestyle which we have predisposed ourselves to live. If you did, you're in the wrong building. That witch doctor fell over with a thud on the ground. He got up a moment later, prayed the sinner's prayer, was baptized in the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in other tongues. My pastor went back to the home that he was staying in. At that time, they didn't have beautiful hotels like the bishop has been so kind to put me in this day. Went back to the home, had no air conditioning, lay down in his against the wall. Pulled the covers up over himself and began to go to sleep. When suddenly the windows that were hanging, the curtains hanging over the windows, began to flap and stick straight out. A horrible dark cloud filled the room. An eerie damp coldness ached in his bones. And the bed that he was lying in began to shake violently up and down. It shook so violently that it moved all the way out into the middle of the floor. That's when my pastor raised up in the bed and said, I recognize you, devil. I cast you out once today. I cast you out once. I can cast you out again. Now in the name of Jesus, go from me. He said immediately, the bed settled down in the middle of the floor. The curtains lay back against the wall. The coldness left the room. Now right there is where I'm getting out of my bed. I'm doing the best dance I can around the bed. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to try to get in Charisma magazine. You know, if what, what was written on the back of preacher's books was really true, we'd went to heaven about 25 years ago. It's just a joke, people. I mean, right there, I mean, you call everybody in town when God heals you of a cold. 
Your bed hadn't shook out in the middle of the floor yet. He cast that thing out again. I'd have written a book about it. But that's the reason he's 82 and I'm 30 something. He raised back up in the bed and said, Devil! Devil! Get back in here. Get back in here. He said all of a sudden the bed started shaking again. Curtain stuck out. Cold, damp feeling filled the room. And with his bed shaking and trembling, he said, Devil, when I came in here, my bed was against that wall. Now in the name of Jesus, put it back. He said the bed moved across the wall. Then he said, now you get out of here. Let me tell you tonight, we didn't come to, we did not come to Charleston, West Virginia just to make the devil leave. We came in here tonight to make him put it back. Get on your feet and shout it. Put it back. Put our joy back. Give our job back. Give us Holy Ghost auction again. Give us preachers that can preach. Give us deacon can pray. Put our kids back. Put our money back. Put our health back. Put our revival back. Give our city back. Give our teenagers back. Devil, put it. Shout and praise him. Shout it. Again. My God, we got the devil on the run. Shout it again. Put it back. Your finger and shout, put it back. Yeah. It's time somebody put their plate down, stomped their foot on the ground, pointed their finger under the nose of the devil, and said, We're not just playing at this thing. We are the born again, fire baptized, elect church of God, and we're not just about ready to back up for you. Put it back. What a tremendous testimony to the unique anointing that Dr. Lester Summerall walked in. He passed away and went on to receive his eternal reward in 1996, but he left behind a treasure trove of resources and he authored more than 76 different books. Well, of those resources, sometimes it's hard to dig through them to find the gems. They're all good, but there's one in particular few people know about. It's called Miracles Don't Just Happen. And in this book, Dr. Summerall goes through and shares his personal testimonies and he categorizes them by healing, by finances, by deliverance, and he shares some things that he doesn't share in any other book. So we're going to place a link to this book below in the description of this video. But again, we want to hear from you. What is your favorite Dr. Lester Summerall story? Place it in the comments below and we'll see you next time right here on Your Encounter Today.